middle school language arts teacher, author of the YA series, The Elementals, and the trilogy, The Lucia Chronicles. This is a YA book review of Frost Like Night, the third book in the um, Snow Like Ashes trilogy by Sarah Roche. And in this book, we have um, Mather and Mira's perspectives with the addition of Siri. Um, and this picks up where the events of the second book left off. Uh, so basically, uh, Theron has turned to the dark side and, you know, they need to get the keys to go into uh, the magic chasm and they need to, um, you know, close the magic chasm or something in order to destroy the decay in order to destroy Angra, who has slowly taken over multiple kingdoms. Um, overall, I gave this book four out of five stars. I liked it a lot better than book two. Book two, I felt was kind of, um, I don't know what it was, but I just did not enjoy it. And I, I didn't really like Mira all that much in this that book. But this book made a lot more sense. And Mira really grew as a person. Um, the love interest that happened made more sense because of the character development that occurred between um, these two characters and then with the characters apart as well. I really liked the addition of series um, perspective because I feel like Mira didn't get a lot of good female role models and not necessarily that Siri is a good female role model but she at least tries to be and she imparts some wisdom to um, Mira and I think that that was a good plot points in this book was adding the perspective of Siri. I do think still between book two and book three, especially in book two, that Theron's perspective should have been added because, I mean, he goes through so much and there's so much we don't know in the parts of time that he's away. Um, I do know that there's like a, one or two in between books. I don't know if they were published on Wattpad or something. They were not part of my series at all and I couldn't find them like for Kindle or anything like that. Um, Overall, I really liked this book. There are some deaths in it. Um, none of them left me like heartbroken personally. One, of, a few of them were like really sad, and it kind of was like, oh, I wish I would have seen like that character to the end because I wanted to know what happened to them. Um, but overall, the ending is nice, and it ties up all the different storylines in a way that I think is satisfying um, to the readers. In this book, I really liked Mather a lot more than I had in the previous books. I mean, I liked him. I didn't like him for Mira necessarily because I thought they were too similar. But he does change a lot. And I will give a slight spoiler in saying that just this once, not everybody lives, but the protagonist at least lives. And I think that's really important um, because I think sometimes that, you know, I don't know. I don't like the sacrificial lamb like trope in books and so I like that you know you spend all this time getting to know a character and investing in their success and you want to see them thrive and so I really like that um, you know Mira makes it to the end in this story and if you sneak ahead and look at the alternating chapters you would also see that she made it to the end. Um, but overall Frost Like Night I gave four out of five stars. I liked Snow Like Ashes as much as I liked this. Book two, not necessarily my fave, but a necessary bridge in between book one and book three. Um, overall, I'd say the series is probably like a 3.75, 3.8 for me for the entire trilogy. So this is Frost Like Night. In the meanwhile, happy reading and happy writing. Mm -hmm.